Judges Pontes and Bravo score it 28-28. This bout is a majority draw. All three judges score it 29-28. Your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Bayo Malaki! Totals 30-27, 29-28, and 29-28. All for your winner by unanimous decision, desde Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, Brandon, the assassin, baby! Totals 30 27, 29 28, and 29 28. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Nikita the Minor Krilla. He was talking about see if he did trade his neck or not. He had body triangle here for Moicano. This is really bad for Hadjavik. I mean, it's less than a minute. He's got the body triangle, he's got the back, and he's oh, gone. Oh, wow, and it's under the, the chin now. Almost, it's under the neck. The hands are There's the tap. There is the tap. Renato Moicano gets it done by submission inside a minute. And what do we have? A little bit of trash talk here got afterwards. A little bit of argy bargy. Let me talk to him. Moicano's not happy. I don't have nothing against you. I don't have nothing against you. One, Maya has recovered, now Gilbert Burns hammers away. Gilbert Burns wanted a changing of the guard, and perhaps we just got it. Wow. On the feet are each of these guys to start round three. Haymaker from Lee. Yeah, that right hand is connecting every time. Oh, gonna watch that neck. Oh, this Kevin is Lee bad. Cut down. This is bad. Here, he's gonna. Oliveira oh, forces is. the tap. Charles Oliveira, another submission. He extends the record. The biggest win of his career comes tonight. everyone, UFC President Dana White here. We've been closely monitoring the situation with the coronavirus and its potential impact on the health and safety of UFC athletes, staff, and fans around the world. We're moving forward with all our UFC live events, but we're going to adapt to these unprecedented circumstances. Some of the events will be moved from their original host city to the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, and unfortunately, fans may not be allowed to attend the events. You know I hate this, but the decision has been made in the best interest of everyone involved with our events, including fans, athletes, staff, and media partners.
Lastly, while I have you, the one fight that everyone keeps hitting me up about on social media, of course, is UFC 249, Habib versus Ferguson, scheduled to be in Brooklyn, New York in April. So you have several weeks before that schedule, scheduled bout. I know you can't speculate, but how is any of these things you're dealing with now impacting potentially that fight between Habib and Ferguson? Yeah, so we had possibly a couple of different venues for that fight, including Nevada. So now the whole Nevada thing went down. So we're looking for another venue. I, I hope by uh, but probably 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I should have two venue options for that fight. That fight will happen. It will go on. And uh, the fans are all freaking out about that. Do not wor worry. Habib versus Tony will happen. So for everybody that's wondering, the fight's still going on in London. As of now, it's business as usual. Um, if you are in London, guys, you see me, please, please do not take offense to me not shaking your hand, me not okay. coming and say hi, me not doing open workouts. I'm just trying to kick ass, so I'm sorry. I gotta protect myself, protect not only me, when I come back, I got, I got kids, so I gotta think about, uh, I'm in there ready to die, so it ain't, it ain't even about me, it's about my family, it's about everybody else. Please arrive. If you see me and I happen to not shake your hand, do not be upset with me. I get that you guys may never see us again. It's an exciting moment for us, but in light of everything that's going on with the really, really young, um, watch myself.